Weeks after the October NSARS protest, the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry into Police Brutality and SARS-related offences on Friday continued to attend to more testifiers who are allegedly victims of the high-handedness of men of the special anti-robbery squad SARS, which has been disbanded. Bloss TV Africa's correspondent Miri Chinda was at the panel and reports. It is 10 a.m. and the day's sitting kicks off. There are six hearings before this panel today. But the case of the alleged gruesome murder of 39-year-old Francis Idum, a disabled person, by men of the now disbanded Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SAS, in July 19, 2019, catches the attention of many. 64-year-old elder Kayode Omotosho, a church member of the deceased, steps to the witness stand to testify. As we were there, looking at the dead body on the floor, not quite known, large number of police vehicles came with siren as they disembarked from the vehicle. They were firing tear gas. So everybody begins to come for his life. There were, there were stampings all in all directions. People were running here and there. So at that period, everybody was away from where the dead body was. By the time the whole thing set, they had carried the, the dead body of Francis Henry. And he is cross-examined. Another bizarre thing was that just before one hour to the incident, DSP Bala Elkana issued a press release less than one hour to the incident saying that Elihudu was killed by bootlegs, that there were opposing groups fighting each other, and in the process, he was killed. Next is the brother of the deceased victim. He recounts how the unfortunate killing of his older brother just a few months before his traditional wedding worsened the health conditions of their aged parents. Before my brother died, he started a building. I have a picture here. Yeah? And since then, that building has been caused. I myself, in the process, I lost my job. So what do you want? I want the travel to help to the family to help to compensate my family. After hearing, the panel chair, retired Justice Okumobi, adjoins further hearing for December the 15th. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.